you know, as we arrived here today, Biagio, you kind of told us, you know, we mentioned we want to talk pitching, and you said that you had done something in Cleveland where you kind of put together almost like a pitch seminar. Was it was it in Cleveland? Did I get that right? It was. That wasn't Cleveland. It wasn't yeah, Cleveland, yeah. and you actually had success where two so two shows were sold. Can you just give us a little bit more mm -hmm. on, on what you guys are doing? Absolutely. Well, one of the things, you know, if, if you visit our, our blog, which is jokeandbiagio.com, if you spell it, if you Google it even close, you'll find it. Um, <laughs> on the very front page, it says, come sell a TV show with us. And one of the things that we wanted to do for people that are where we were 10 years ago is make it easier to pitch your unscripted television ideas. You know, we're documentarians, we're unscripted television producers, we do documentary series, reality TV, we're always looking for ideas. And so one of the things that we've been trying to do is make it easier for people who have ideas to pitch to us. So what what we, and what, how the way that we pitch shows is with video pitches. That is how we sell TV shows. So it speaks a lot to what we were just talking about. Now, a video pitch to sell a television show is a little bit different than a video pitch to, uh, to to get someone on board your Kickstarter campaign. But a lot of the techniques are the same in that you know the passion for your show needs to come through. But it's not you on tape pitching your show. It's you actually going out and capturing footage of interesting characters. And, uh, and when I talk about unscripted television, I'm not talking about like Survivor or Big Brother. We, we're going to be a lot less useful if your pitch is, it's Survivor in the Arctic, or it's, you know, it's Survivor, but with acrobats, or it's American Idol for bartenders. It's, no, no, no. We, everybody pitches those shows. Nobody wants them. Um, what The types of shows that we're looking for are shows that feature real people in interesting worlds. I mean, if you had found the guys from Pawn Stars in your hometown, that would be amazing. You know, who are the swamp people where you live? You know, what's the really interesting business or the really interesting family or story or entity in your town that nobody knows about because all the producers are in LA and in New York and you're in middle America somewhere. So what we did recently was we went to Cleveland and we did a two-part seminar as an experiment. And in part one, we sat down for two days and we're like, look, this is what a good TV show is. This is what a, a good TV pitch is. This is what a bad pitch is. Don't pitch a Survivor in the Arctic. Don't pitch us a game show. Don't pitch us anything that you're gonna, you know, that is like a Biggest Loser ripoff. You know, do pitch us, you know, shows about real people. Do look at shows like Pawn Stars and Axe Men and, uh, um, you know, Swamp People and, and the, the, the shows that people are buying right now. And then try and find what is that show in your hometown. Because right now the best place to be to sell a TV show is any place except New York or Los Angeles. Every network wants to do shows someplace else. So guess what? If you're not New York and LA, for the first time you have a leg up on everybody on the coasts. Um, when you do do that pitch tape, what are we looking for? Think about it as like a, a movie trailer for your reality TV idea. I mean, that's really what it is. It's, uh, you know, it's three to six minutes that really gives an idea of what your show is, who the characters are and what types of conflicts they go through every week. And whereas earlier we were talking about, you know, what's your what's your call to action, what's your sell, you know, in a in a pitch video, in a TV pitch tape, your call to action is, hey, come watch this kind of show every week. So is it is it every week I'm gonna see these guys, you know, round up a bunch of alligators and you know, or, or I'm gonna see them, you know, every week these guys try to earn enough money to keep their bar open. You know, you're asking people to commit to a certain kind of show and understanding what it is you're seeing every week. Is it every week see, you know, this group of adventurers search for gold? You know, what is it that these real people are doing every single week? And that's your call to action in that kind of video. Um, so we did this two-part class in Cleveland as an experiment and two we teamed up with two young producers whose ideas that we liked and sold both of them one which is going to be an arable pilot I can't say which network yet but we'll be able to say soon and one which is going to be a pilot for another network which is great so these people who had no producer credits we teamed up with them they're going to be producers on the show um, and they're going to work on the show in different ways the reason we love working with filmmakers is because in unscripted television, you don't get paid a bunch of money to walk away. <laughs> if you come and you bring us an idea and you don't want to work on the show, you can hope to maybe make anywhere between $1,000 and $3,000 an episode to do nothing which is not bad money to do nothing. But if you can actually work on this show, if you're a good shooter or you're a good editor, you know, or you're a great story producer, you're great at interviewing people, whatever your skills are, you can actually get paid to do that on the show and make even more money. So that's why we look to team up with filmmakers. And that's how we started out. We started out as filmmakers with show ideas. We teamed up with bigger production companies and eventually got to a point where we could be the production company. So 
Uh, if you go to our site, you can read about how to pitch to us. It's really easy. We just ask that you don't pitch a Survivor in the Arctic or anything that feels like a big, silly reality game show. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for great documentary series and reality shows about real people that we haven't seen before. What he said. <laughs>